Hey guys, so uh, I just want to do a uh, close look here at the Huawei Mate 8 now that I've set it up. Uh, so uh, this is a brand new device from Huawei and a very big uh, device, 6 inches. Uh, you can definitely see a lot of attention to detail when it comes to the design here. Uh, which uh, we have actually set up the fingerprint sensor as well so you can see that works nice and seamlessly uh, we can have a look at the actual uh, software here so we are running the EMUI as some people have already picked up uh, some people saying you know where uh, it would have been nice if they did, like made it a little bit more close to stock but I'm happy to say that uh, it looks a little bit more up-to-date than com compared to previous versions of EMUI uh, which looked a little bit out of date uh, you can see we do have some uh, nicer looking icons here when it comes to uh, like uh, these ones here like the torch for example uh, as well as the weather app looks a little bit more up to date uh, obviously we do get uh, some uh, like uh, past uh, kind of uh, shortcuts here which that could probably do with a little bit more in the way of uh, touching up but uh, generally you can see uh, the actual software here flows very nice it is running Android uh, Marshmallow so basically uh, things do open up very nice and fast here so it doesn't feel bogged down like on some other uh, EMUI devices uh, you can have a look at some of these uh, settings here that you can put on so you can see we can uh, change the view mode it seems uh, to make uh, the icons and text a little bit uh, smaller here uh, you may need to uh, restart the phone though if you do want to do that uh, also you can see we do have uh, the color temperature setting as well so if you're not keen on the display uh, you can basically change it a little bit to make it a little bit warmer or colder uh, the display actually I was quite surprised to read was only a full HD display uh, you know which is spread out quite across a large area here uh, which is uh, 368 ppi apparently covered by Gorilla Glass 4 so uh, you know that might help with the battery life here but some spec hungry people might be thinking you know full HD personally I've not noticed a huge difference when it comes to uh, viewing content here it's, everything looks very nice and crisp like for example if we just load a page here can see I mean it's blindingly fast maybe the uh, full HD helps with the speed as well I mean look how fast that loaded and uh, if I just uh, turn the brightness down a little bit as well so you can see uh, the like PPI here so you can see everything is very nice and legible when like in the overview mode still which is good I was worrying a bit that uh, you know because the PPI is not that high it might be a little bit uh, behind but uh, no you know it's a very nice display here you can see it's edge to edge as well uh, you know really making maximum use of the uh, like device here when it comes to uh, the display which is pretty nice uh, we do also actually have a front-facing uh, selfie camera as well 8 megapixel which can do f full HD uh, at 2 by 4 aperture which is very nice the main camera on the back apparently uh, is a 60 megapixel shooter which uh, can uh, do f by 2.0 aperture has optical image stabilization as well as your phase detection autofocus uh, we can have a look at some of the camera settings you can put on here so you can see we get the same kind of things you get on other huawei devices like beauty mode light painting video and have a look at the actual settings here so you can see uh, we're getting uh, HDR, super night mode, uh, slow mo, and also professional mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are obviously putting that in there. You can see you can control pretty much everything with this professional mode. Uh, so I'll definitely be checking the camera out against some other devices quite shortly. Uh, we can have a look at the actual uh, settings you can put on, like for the ratio, etc. So you can see. Uh, we're getting uh, 12 megapixel for 16 by 9 uh, one thing which was a bit surprising to me was that uh, I think the absence of 4k video recording 
Uh, I couldn't actually see it here in the normal place. Maybe it's somewhere else or uh, not uh, capable with the latest chipset. But you would think that you would get it for you know high-end device here. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm hoping the Full HD is uh, very good nevertheless. Uh, so uh, I'm certainly looking forward to checking out the camera here. Uh, we can have a look at some of the wallpapers. I think we get a few... Uh, wallpapers on the device here you can see you can put on different uh, transitions like other Huawei devices and uh, we can just have a quick look here you can see we do get some interesting pink one a gold one and a chocolate one so we just put this one on you can see that looks pretty nice and chocolatey uh, we can also uh, put on some smart gestures as well apparently like one handed UI which is pretty nice uh, motion control so like when you flip the phone you can mute it uh, smart screenshot uh, dual window gestures so some nice uh, stuff here which I might need to learn about because I've not really seen them before uh, gloves mode as well which is quite cool for when it's cold and smart cover smart headset control so lots of nice stuff there uh, in terms of the sound I think you're catered for by DTS mode as well uh, which uh, based upon my experiences I've had some nice audio uh, using that mode as I said we did do the uh, figure print uh, setup as well so I've already uh, done this and I can just quickly show you the uh, the uh, setup here so you can see very nice and fast when it comes to the enrollment uh, process here uh, maybe I might need to use another finger so you can see that uh, is quite nice and fast here and then you can use that going forward to unlock uh, which is very nice and uh, yeah you know I will be doing some uh, speed uh, comparisons with this device checking out the uh, 950 processor uh, how it compares with the big boys uh, but so far it looks like a nice uh, you know uh, phone here from Huawei particularly if you're not looking to spend you know the top amount when it comes to smartphones you can get this for a little bit cheaper than the very top end uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little video here oh yeah I forgot to mention as well uh, the battery 4000 mAh so you shouldn't have any issues there fast charging obviously uh, very nice and also uh, I think uh, we're getting some uh, nice uh, I think we're getting micro is it micro SD yes we're getting micro SD up to 128 gigs so that's pretty cool uh, so yeah just a quick little close look here at the Huawei Mate 8 hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one Cheers.